How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over reverse image searching, doing a little bit of OSINT and gathering metadata from files to get some more information about whatever you're looking at. So without further ado, let's actually just get straight into it. I, I was gonna have a whole intro, but so, a uh, huge shout out to the OSINT framework, uh, Justin Ordeen and Lockvale for putting together this OSINT website that's very easy to use. Uh, it covers a bunch of things that I normally would not know about. I actually made a whole video going over the top things that I use that are in the OSINT framework, but feel free to check it all out. There's a ton of stuff in here that I did not cover in that previous video. So today we're going to be going over image reverse or reverse imaging and pulling uh XF data. XF data stands for exchangeable image file format. Okay. So we're going to be pulling metadata from pictures, from uh, PDFs and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have a giant list of, I guess, pictures that I want to take a look at right here. And then one random uh, PDF. Uh, so basically what we want to do is find out more about these pictures, where they were taken, possibly, uh, and any images that are somewhat similar to it. So let's just get straight into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna use Yandex Image Search. Now, Yandex Image Search is monumentally better at finding people, uh, exact images, uh, than like Google Images or 10i. Uh, I believe Google Images and 10i try to find similar photos, whereas Yandex Images tries to match uh, the photos. Uh, and yeah, so let's just get straight into it. So I'll show you the power of it. And then we'll do side by side um, with Google Images. And we will just drag and drop. So we'll take a picture of me right here. Load this up. So that's me right there, old image. And I will throw that and drag it into Google Images and see what we get. So we don't really get many visually similar images. So we click here, nothing really points to me. None of these people are me. We take that same photo and go to Yandex, drag and drop it into there. You will see that we will get <laughs> very similar photos and actually pictures of me. That's me, that's me, that's me, <laughs> that's me. Uh, and you can see sites where this image is displayed. So for some reason, this account has my image on it. He might've responded to me or something like that. But you can see a lot of images of me on here. So that's cool. Uh, so the exact images was not found, but they were able to find me. So that's kind of scary, right? <laughs> okay, so let's, let's move on. So let's take a look at this photo. I don't know if I can actually load this photo because it's a... Uh... Oh, it's a JPG. So I took this photo right here. Uh, that's my rental car right there. And then where we were at. Now, to any OSINT investigator, it's pretty obvious exactly where this photo was taken. Simply because you can see right there, welcome to Pinnacles National Park. But let's say for whatever reason, you're not able to find that. Literally drag and drop that photo into Yandex. It'll upload. And you can see, okay, a line of cars, you know, nothing crazy. Okay, this looks somewhat close to the surroundings, but again, a European plate right there, so that's not it. Uh, let's go back. Oh, there we go. Pinnacles National Park, and this is the exact location I took this photo. So I'm going to do one more example. Let's take this image right here. So I will upload that. And I took this photo in Nevada, and I could show you another tool right after this, how to find exact exact coordinates of where this photo was taken. So click out of that and original image, and then we'll click on similar images. So right there, right away, that looks somewhat similar to what we were just looking at. So if we go back to pictures and this photo, you could see like the, I guess the structure of the rock right there is kind of going up on an angle. We'll go back, that looks pretty similar. Not gonna, not gonna say 100% that's the exact location. This looks very similar. Let's load this up. Let's load that page up. Um, no, I wouldn't say that looks similar. Let's go off of what we just got right now that we just loaded up. This one also looks somewhat promising, but let's go back here. Okay, so we could just do it on this page right here. So we'll go to English. 
advisor.travel, Alamo tourist attractions and interesting places. So in a city named Alamo, United States, attractions in large cities, Henderson, Las Vegas. So this photo that right here was actually taken in Alamo, Nevada. But let's find more specific details on some of these photos. And I'll do one more person search because that's super interesting. So I'll go back here. And here is a picture with me and my buddy. Upload that image. So hit right there, hit right there, hit right there. But it is a picture of me and my buddy, Zach Wingfield. Boom. Okay. So let's get more details about these photos because that's cool. Like you can reverse image search. You can find the exact person or the, the exact location of a photo just by reverse image searching. But let's say we want to get more detail because we want more detail. So if we have the raw image and it doesn't have to be raw format, I'm just saying the, the, the actual image itself that was taken on a phone that was taken on the camera, whatever. As long as it wasn't like uploaded to Facebook or anything, because Facebook changes the metadata of photos. So let's say we have that exact information, that exact photo. So there's this tool called EXIF tool, which you could download. It runs on Mac OS and Windows. I don't know about Linux. I'm sure it does run on Linux, but let's say, let's take a look at this photo. So I took this photo, it's Mount St. Helens. So let's go ahead and drag this image to EXIF tool and it will pop this up right here. So it gives us some information. So the file modification date and all this right here, this is basically when I downloaded the photo. photo. Uh, you can see camera model and make Apple iPhone app success. That's what I took the photo on. You can see the creation date. This is when the photo was actually taken. So August 31st, 2019 at 14 or 1645. And I believe that is standard or Pacific time when I took the photo. Um, moving down here, we could see, okay, iPhone success, GPS altitude reference, so we're above sea level, GPS timestamp, so I believe that's UTC, GPS speed, so I was moving at one kilometer per hour. Um, and then you can see more information right here, but we scroll down a little bit more and we get GPS longitude and latitude. So let's take a look at that. So we'll go ahead and copy, go here and load it up. So... We are just gonna do this. We're gonna punch one, two, two, 13, 1.07, 30.40, and get address. And just like that, we zoom out. You can see exactly where this photo was taken. And you can see it was at the Johnston Ridge Observatory, right there. So let's try another image. Um, 47, 6, 0 0.74. And again, Gorge Amphitheater. Zoom all the way in. And that's the exact location where that photo was taken. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, now I did upload a previous video uh, basically just an OSINT challenge for anyone to find out exactly where I was at so I will definitely make more of those videos and shout out to the Anon guy that got it correct it's actually funny I know them uh, I know them not personally but they reached out to me through private means and it's like oh that's funny that we had some sort of connection um, they said the waves on the Malcolm Memorial led me to believe it was for a surfer rather than a traffic accident. So I looked, searched Malcolm plus surf memorial and came across hmbreview.com coastside remembers surfer lifeguard. And that led him to Half Moon Bay and he's able to geolocate that exact location of that video. So shout out to you, uh, Anon Anon. And uh, hopefully everything in this video could be used as a new tool that you can use when you're doing uh, reconnaissance or, you know, just searching things online. Uh, again, Yandex reverse image search is a quick way to, you know, see through bullshit. Uh, anytime, like during the Iranian missile strikes, people are sharing all these photos uh, on Twitter. 
It was very easy to download those photos, upload to Yandex and see when the original photos were actually taken and you're able to see, okay, well that's not today because this was indexed, you know, 10 years ago or whatever. So uh, use the Yandex image search. That's my personal recommendation when you're doing reverse image search. And XF tool, if you have the actual image itself, you could get a ton of data out of it, especially if it's taken on, an, you know, an iPhone or an Android or whatever. So that's it for this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button. We're near 500 subscribers. I just remember, you know, screenshotting 420 and thinking it was crazy. Uh, so hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, share this with every person you know, and you all have a fine and dandy day. Thank you.